Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm with Lou. Hello everyone. And we are outside Ikea. Very excited because we're about to go and have a look around. And I thought today I would try and show you what's new in store. Yes. So that would be a good thing to show Always you. Always that, be interested. yes. yes Don't absolutely. know if there is much new in, but anything that's new, it's got a new label on it. I'm going to show you it. Yeah, that's a good idea. We're at a different one. Yeah, um, we're at Greenwich today. Yeah. This is, it's a nice one. It's relatively new, this one. It's only been open for about, I think about three years. Yeah, and it's got an upstairs. Well, they've often got an upstairs, but mm. it's got windows, which mm. I quite like, because you can see yes. things in daylight in this yeah. Ikea, which is quite handy. Yeah. So what are you after today? Um, I need a I need a bookcase. Yeah, Ooh, you, know the, you know the old classic school? Billy? Classic Billy, yeah. yeah. We've, um, we've filled, so we've got the thin Billy, but we, yes. need a, we need a larger Billy. Larger Billy. Big so Bill. those cookbooks you keep buying. It is, it is. And, uh, yeah, so, um, but I'm not, I'm not at least convinced it could fit in this car, you know? I don't I'll know. Ju I'll just have to do yeah. this on the way home and we'll put it It's not the end of the safely world. But I don't, this way. Yeah, I don't know. There'll be a way to do it. Do you think? Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But that's it. That's yeah. all I need. And I've got a little list of things. There's a mm. few bits that I'm after. I'm after maybe a blind. Mm -hmm. I need one terracotta pot. Just one. Just one? Yeah, okay. I've, been, I've literally gone on the roof garden and been meticulous. Right. Don't want to be buying unnecessary stuff in there. No tea lights today. No. Um, what else do I need? Oh, I want to look at the fence panelling for the roof garden as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Um, and some bits and bobs. You've got some cracking bits in Ikea over the years we've been coming. Yeah, you found me those discounted chairs yeah. for the garden, which still I still use. Them. Yeah, I need to pressure wash them, but um, yeah. yeah. I will link that? down the previous Ikea vlogs that we've done together. 2018? I think that was 2018, yeah. Um, Mad. We love Ikea. We do. Um, so I hope you enjoy coming for a little look around with us. Let's go! Woo! So we have a B&Q right next door and also a Trade Point Trade Building Supplies. So that's the upstairs I was telling you about that has the windows, which is fab. And you can get a bus here if you're on public transport. There we go, there's quite a few options. That will take you to North Greenwich, just stopping at the cafe as you come in. And you can get a single espresso in here for one pound. And also an Americano, white coffee, also one pound. And tea as well, good value. We've gone for, well I've got a Diet Coke, and we've gone for a cinnamon roll to share. And Luke's got a cappuccino we're going to fuel up before we go around. We've also got a water tap here if you want to fill up your bottle. So get involved. Five pounds for this lot. So good. I've never had their cinnamon buns before. No, I haven't. It looks really tasty. Cheers. Cheers Happy Ikea. Happy <laughs> Just reading the poster over there, it says the cinnamon bun is a Swedish classic. And it says one of the most loved Swedish traditions is fika, which is socialising over coffee and cookies. I'm here for that tradition. I can't say I'm going to socialise much because this is just like <laughs> taking my word to me that it's delicious. I haven't had one of these before. Really nice and soft. I like the sugar crystals on top. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Nice bit of sugar. Mm. Perfect. Does anyone else do this? Do you ever dip like a pastry in your coffee? I do. Yeah. It's got to be done. Just spied some drying solutions. This is very reasonable. £7.50 for this folding up drying rack. I like that. It's quite a good size. Yeah, and they've got a laundry bin here for £3.75. Start your shopping experience here. This is quite a nice daybed solution. It has this corner headboard, which is quite cool. That's £189. We're just admiring these um, cushions and cushion covers. £6.50 for this kind of velvet. They've got these in all different colours as well, haven't they? Yeah. Good staple. I've never seen that colour before. Though. Yeah, that's lovely, nice. the kind of red wine burgundy colour. And this pink's nice too. Mm. Yeah, 50 by 50. Love to see how they've laid out different rooms in Ikea. This mirror is £70. This is a good solution if you are lacking depth in a bathroom. You have this narrow shelf, could be used in a kitchen as well. Have a new kitchen. So this one, it's a beautiful colour actually. I love when the cupboards go right the way up to the top. That's something I would definitely consider doing when I refit my kitchen because it's a small kitchen, but yeah, this is fantastic. I really like this color too. It's similar to the color that I'm about to go for. I'm gonna repaint my cupboard soon, so stay tuned for that. What was that squeak? It was me, I just said on my blog, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's a similar color. 
what you're going to go yeah, for. Yeah, I think it is. I hope it comes out like this. It's kind of like a sagey, mm. yeah, sagey sage. Very nice. I like these shelves you're too. Doing brass handles, right? Brass yeah, 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 yeah. But the black works nicely, doesn't it? It's really nice. Yeah, and I love the height and I love the light in these mm. cabinets as well. Sets off the glasses really nicely. The island, I bet you're a fan of that, Luke. Oh, it's the dream. One day. It's the dream. It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Although I would Would you have a cooker on your island? Do you yes, like that? Yeah. Always, always. Yeah. I just love the idea that you can cook and see people. Yeah. You know? I'll just sit here when you get your island Happily. with a glass of wine. That's fine. That's fine. I can just feed you. <laughs> this tray's good value. It's metal. And only eight pounds. It's a great big size. It's be quite good for taking things outdoors. Just looking at this table lamp, it reminds me of kind of like an old fashioned gas lamp with the little dimmer switch on it, it's 22 pounds. This is the blind that I was thinking about maybe getting and it's magnetic so it actually opens in sections so you can kind of adjust the height like this which I think is a really neat design. So you just pop it up, oh it's a bit wide to, <laughs> yeah, thanks mate. You can just, yeah, clip it on. Yeah, you can keep going really to adjust the height you want, which is good for privacy or if you're um, creating a panel, even to like screen off a bed if you had like an open plan area, could be quite good for that too. And they've got a really nice, just simple stripe to them. I think they do these in a few different colours and the price is reasonable. So this one is 25 and it's really wide and you can really easily hang it just with the little eyelets. Probably put that up with some command strips to be honest, it's, it's not too heavy. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for the new signs. Not seeing loads, but we shall continue. And I'll just show you anything that catches my eye, of course, as we go around. Ooh, have they got like a little garden set up through here? Let's take a look. It's a reasonable balcony set here. 15 pounds for the chairs, 19 pounds for the table. That's rather nice. And this, I think, has been discontinued, if I remember correctly. I have some of this screening at home. But when I looked on the website, it did seem to be discontinued. This is good. You can buy one of the metal shelves and you can get a cover for it for £3 if you're looking for somewhere to put your plants to protect them from frost. And if I remember correctly, these metal shelves are pretty reasonable. I think they're around the 10 pound mark so yeah that's impressive they've got a complete living room here for under 600 pounds so let's see how they've put that together got some quite reasonable pieces that i'm guessing yeah this trolley is 30 pounds that's quite robust for a little bar cart be nice for craft supplies too then we have the classic lac tv bench and coffee table i mean these things can be a bit flimsy can't they you can see here it's scuffed already but you can paint these up, add some different colour to them, make them look quite interesting and also add some beading to them if you wanted to make them a little bit more intricate. Then we've got these chairs for £70. I think that's a really nice design. I think that's really nice and simple and quite stylish. I wonder how comfy it is. I'm just going to quickly take a seat. That sofa looks very petite, good if you've got a small space. This armchair it's actually rather comfortable. You can kind of feel the metal bar under your legs a little bit, but it's not bad. It's not bad. And then, what else have we got? Some storage. And I like these kind of display frames. £12 each. And then we have a folding desk. That's neat. This is £79. We have some new footstools and this one is £259 and then we have this one for £279. I was just saying to Luke, I feel like footstools seem quite pricey. Is it just me that thinks that? I'm not sure. I mean, you've got cheaper ones here, like a £45 version and you've got one here for £79, which is significantly smaller. And then we have ones with storage inside, which is always handy. That's 150. I feel like the cats would like this. You have a footstool with storage here for 80 pounds, and I feel like that could be a nice little cat bed too. 
This is a nice sofa that's new. This is £599. This really nice velvet. And I like the legs on that too. It's quite a nice compact size. Very nice. Then we have some more new sofas here. So this one is 599 This beige cover, and then we have another one over here. This is 799 It's nice texture on here. Well, that looks quite, kind of traditional in the shape. And this cushion cover is £4.50. Oh, that's cool. You can flip it round for two different designs. Another new sofa. I really like the shape of this one. I think that's fantastic. Kind of traditional and it's nice and deep too. I reckon that would be quite comfortable. This one is £7.50. Those curtains are very different. How much are they? Is that all they do Oh, no, it's all textiles can become a new hobby. Ah, so they've made these. Okay, so we've got a little recycled, upcycled area, have we? Okay. Ah, uh, eight pounds a square meter, and they've made a patchwork curtain. Are they tea towels? Oh, that's clever. It's a good idea. You could buy some cheap tea towels and stitch them all together to make your curtains. So we've got a little kind of upcycling area in here showing how you can paint different items of furniture. And they've done like a kind of rag design on the back of this chair. That's clever. Using some old textiles. Painted some lampshades. That's cool. They have a ring light and a phone mount set up here on a little holder, and this is £37. I actually bought one recently on Amazon. I've never had a ring light before, but I've just picked one up recently. Um, it was a little bit cheaper than that. I think it was more um, around between £20 and £30 mark, so it also had a longer stand, so I'm not sure how handy this would be, because it's very desktop based. If you want something to stand in front of, you might find that tricky. Just looking at this storage bench, 279. I think that would be nice at the end of a bed. Somewhere to sit on when you get dressed and a bit of room to store bedding in. These remind me of those old TV cabinets you used to see. But um, yeah, 250, handles. yeah, the handles, that's right. Mm. I guess you could paint something to be very similar to this, so. Yeah, 250, not bad. It feels quite solid. Mm. What would you store in there? I guess it's for like plates and things in a dining yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The drawer's handy underneath, for sure. Yeah. It'd be a nice drinks cabinet. I guess you didn't have to use the shelves. That's true. They're one. adjustable, so you yeah. can change those around a Glasses bit. Glasses on one side, drinks on the other. Yeah. Another new in item. We have a one-seat sofa bed. I feel like this could be quite good for a teenager's bedroom or a spare room for... 479 I think we have the same one here with a slightly darker cover 499 yeah this is it made up so these are called Besta um, they're combination so you can see the difference like you can do so many different options with these they've got different depths and quite good for kind of media storage I think I like these with the um, the push on them I like these a lot I think they're a good way to kind of create some storage in your home that's very kind of minimal. If you don't want handles, I like this system. And it has a sort of planning area over there so you can plan, plan out different combinations and stuff. Then loads of different doors and textures to choose from. Yeah, I like that. I think it looks very chic. You know, I think the lack, I actually think for 15 pounds, this is pretty good going. I don't think they're very robust, but a TV bench wouldn't move much, so, I think in terms of wear and tear, it's all right. I really like the dimensions of this. I think it does the job and you have this shelf underneath, which is kind of what you want for a TV bench. So yeah, I don't mind this one. I'm not so keen on the coffee table, I have to say. Just feel like it looks like something you'd knock your shin on all the time. But yeah, for a TV bench, I think that's pretty nice. This metal shelving unit is 22 pounds. And I feel like with the design of this, it would actually make quite a good shoe rack. It's probably just about deep enough for shoes, or maybe they'd stick out a little bit if you're like size 10 or 11. But because it's metal and also because it has the grid design, I feel like any dirt would fall through it. 
nice and easy to clean and quite robust so it could be a good alternative to actually buying a bespoke shoe rack that would end up costing you probably quite a bit more for this kind of size they have the uh, folding out shoe cabinets here for £127 with the IKEA family card this one is new and yeah I'm not sure how I feel about these to be honest <laughs> I feel like you can't see your shoes, which I guess is the point, but equally, I think with the amount of opening and closing you have to do on a daily basis, I feel like these might get a little bit kind of flimsy. I don't know. Um, let me know if you've got one of these and how you get on with it. But I almost prefer just have the metal shelf that we just saw for um, £22 and have them where you can see them, but I guess it depends on how many shoes you have, I guess for a family you could fit a lot of pairs in here but if you're a guy and we're looking at trainers here you can really only fit one two probably three comfortably in each section which is six I mean it just depends I guess on how many shoes you've got <laughs> I do have quite a lot and I hide mine under my bed I found a much more reasonable item this one's new and this is £38 um, with the family card and this fits, I would say, four per section. And you can get a couple of these side by side, which would work out a lot cheaper. We also have this one down here for £29.50 with the family card. And then this one here is new as well. And this is £84 with the family card. How many do we fit in here? Probably only two adult pairs per section maybe mm, yeah it's tight isn't it but very narrow and that's 84 yeah I'm not sure if I'm feeling the flappy shoe storage let me know if you've got it and how you get on with it another new item here this chair 50 pounds now that is a design that I like I love this curved back on it and then the fabric kind of strapping feels nice and robust and the table here is 129 this chair is new this is 35 pounds that's an interesting design it's kind of is it plastic yeah plastic and metal I think we have a saucepan here for 45 pounds this is copper hmm. I'm not familiar with the price of these just buy these blinds again and they've created kind of a bit of a canopy them that could be quite a good shade for the garden I guess you could easily pop a pole up like a broom handle and hang one of those to create some shade might work out a lot cheaper than buying a garden shade some new bathroom accessories here with suction cups handy if you're renting and two pounds fifty what have we got three pounds quite reasonable aren't they and then this little shelf that's five yeah, I like that. Got various clip-on racks here. These are three pounds. You could store probably a couple of bottles in there, something similar. And they also have this small one that creates kind of like a little hanging rail. I think you can pop this over a cupboard door. And yeah, it creates a little rack like that. And then we have this one, which is some hooks. Again, that goes over a cupboard door and then you get some hooks inside. So this is a new trolley and they have a few different colors. We've got white, and this nice kind of turquoisey or oh, sagey colour. Perfect for the kitchen bathroom where you need some extra space. So it's on casters. And yeah, you've got the triple height on that and then a mesh top. That's quite good. It's a slightly cheaper alternative to this one, which is their best seller. This one's kind of more rounded and slightly deeper compartments. Although, yeah, I feel like this is just as much storage. And then you've got the option to maybe put some glasses on this. This is a bit more bar cart vibes, I think. Whereas this is kind of better for storing things like jars and things in the kitchen, I would say. These are good for £12. I think these are new, or at least this colour is. This sage is popping up everywhere. Yeah, £12, you get two shelves and it's metal. I think that's quite a nice little option for a bedside table or a side table in the living room. That's a lovely colour. Oh yeah, that is nice. Yeah, they're going for some nice colours this year. This is new, this is a wardrobe combination called Platza. Yeah, this is giving me kind of like, it's quite fancy, isn't it? It reminds me of those ones that you would buy 
you know you can get those built-ins kind of done for you yes. in bedrooms. It reminds me of one of those you'd see in a showroom. It could um, be a loft. Yes, it would. Because it's on this floor. Isn't yes, it? you can obviously change the um, yeah design it and change the heights and things. Yeah. Very yeah. deep. Um, and they feel quite good quality as well. Quite traditional style. They've also got a modern version of it here, so I'm assuming it's the same range. Yeah, and then you just swap out the different doors. Yeah. Just having a look at the lighting. They've got interesting options in IKEA. Mm. Strip lighting. They've got little um, cabinet lights here for like over wardrobes. And then over here, got the different doors for the wardrobes. We've also got the different knobs, which I thought I would show you because who doesn't like <laughs> a look at the knobs when we're in IKEA? And the different handles as well. So I went for some simple ones from here. I think I got those ones or these ones, in fact. And they're seven pounds for a pair. I quite like these leather ones, you know. The wooden hangers in IKEA are fab. And a lot of people say to go for velvet hangers because of the um, space saving with them. But do you know what? If I could change it, so I've bought loads of velvet ones back in the day, the narrow ones that you get that are non-slip, but if I was to give you some advice now, I would say go for these wooden ones. I think they're fantastic. They're good for dresses, good for shirts. They're that little bit wider, which is nice for the clothes when you hang them. And yeah, it's gonna be less hangers in your wardrobe, but that's gonna keep you, hopefully, having a less rammed wardrobe. So yeah, depending on your space, I would always go for wooden now, I think. So one day I'll probably swap all of mine out and opt for those. This is quite cute. It's a phone holder. But it's also like a little chair. <laughs> Very sweet. So this is new. This is a desk with a pull-out storage unit. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the handy, collective. Ooh. Yeah. It is handy actually. Mm. They're quite deep compartments, so you could put like upright um I think for like an artist you could have all your yes. jam jars with your brushes sticking upwards and then not clutch up your desk but then just slide that away. Quite like that. 119. Just flying through the toys, but I have spied a new one, it's a blue whale, and it is £25. And its mouth zips shut by the looks of things. Yes, <laughs> good size. We also have a play kitchen here that's new. Although it's not new, I think it's just the colours that are new, because I've definitely seen these before. That is 95 This says new, I mean a billy isn't new, is it? I guess it's these doors, these are glass. And I think, can you change the panel behind? I feel like you might be able to swap out what's behind this and maybe put your own paper or fabric in there. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, nice isn't it? Nice so touch. yeah, no back panel and a bit of wallpaper showing through. We also have some glass cabinets here which I like. This one's good for £45. Oh, I like that one. It's like an old medicine cabinet. Yeah, I really like that. A bit retro, but... Like yeah. We just found ourselves going around in a circle after the children's section we took a wrong turn so I think it's definitely time that we stopped for a bite to eat so we're gonna head into the restaurant now. We've abandoned food because half term and it's bang on one o'clock. Lunch time the queue was miles long wasn't it yeah, so not needed mate, not needed. Not to worry I've got emergency bananas in my bag so we'll do a little bite to eat after I hear. So we're heading into the market hall now to load up a trolley. Yes. <laughs> we have a new hamburger flipper here for five pounds. I mean, I don't cook very many hamburgers, to be honest with you. In fact, yeah, I can't remember the last time I did, but there we go. They've got these Lazy Susans for eight pounds. I've seen these used on quite a lot of coffee table hacks when you make your own coffee table with a circular top. So I'm just looking at the cushion pads. These are 350. I want to get some feather ones. Yeah, these are the ones I want to grab because they will be nice and choppable and make a lovely shape. So I'm gonna get it's just the 50 by 50. These are nine pounds each. I'm gonna get two of those. Found the blinds, I'm gonna pick up one of these now. The cheapest one is 15 pounds for a narrow one. I think they're fab. It says that these chair pads are new, or maybe just the black, the slight stripe in it, five pounds each. This is a new duvet cover and pillowcase. And that is 12 pounds for the set. I'm guessing that that's a single. Oh yeah, the doubles here for 25 pounds. I feel like that's quite a nice one for a kid's bedroom because it's not too babyish but kind of fun and then you could sort of keep it on for a teenage or even an adult room. What do we think? I like these soap dispensers, a bit different with the wide top. These are £8 each. 
nice glass too. They've also got toothbrush holders for six. We have a new scrub belt here for four pounds. I'm presuming that's to do your back and stuff. Very spa vibes with these bathrobes as well. They're nice. I like those a lot. They're 20 pounds. Nice waffle fabric bins are £1.50, but I think these could actually make quite a good plant pot if you drilled some holes in the base, especially the black one. Fairly stylish. I mean, it's not super sturdy, but compared to the price of a plant pot of that size, we've got 25 gift bags here for a fiver reduced to clear. Just seeing what those are. It's all the Christmas stock, I think. This is a bargain. Just £2 for one of these. That's quite a nice texture. I think I might grab one of those. Luke's just spotted this hanging decoration for seven pounds. That would be fantastic for some wedding decoration or even just for Christmas time. You can pop a wreath around that. You could even turn it on its side and just use it as a wreath base that's lit up. For seven pounds, that is fab. This is a great buy. This is a black marble table lamp and the base is only 15 pounds, real marble. I think that's fab and then you buy the bulb separately. I'm going to grab a couple of these LED candles. You get two pack and I can't see the price of these, but I think they're I think three or four pounds. Oh, this is rather nice. Candle snuffer for two pounds. I love the design of this vase for 13 pounds because it has the rims inside so you can stand your flowers up at different heights within it. Final stretch. <laughs> We're just heading down to kind of like the gardeny bit and then room two. Is it, it locks, doesn't it? The trolley locks were on a moving floor. <laughs> I recommend getting one of the peace lilies from here for £3.50, I think they are. Um, I had one that lasted for years. I've actually parted with it now. It is now with a friend because of the kittens. But yeah, I recommend those as plants that are really easy to keep alive. I've had mine for over 10 years and it grew to a really big size. This is nice, this plant stand for £15. It's got a little metal saucer in there. And yeah, it's not the most sturdy, but for the price, I think that's great. You could flip it over and use it as a plant container as well. That way you could sit a plant pot in there, I guess. And it would probably just about stand up. But yeah, this is the way you're meant to hold it. You could also pop a little bowl in there and make it a bird bath in the summer. And then these window boxes are great for £10 each. They hook over balcony. We're just stopping for an emergency banana. I nearly just collapsed. That's the situation. <laughs> 40 <laughs> kilograms on an empty stomach is a bit of an ambitious yeah. task, isn't it? Bookcase acquired. Oh, you're so good at remembering these, honestly. We could have had a situation because that cube for the meatballs, well, <laughs> meatballs? meatballs wasn't going anywhere. Uh -uh. I could have still been waiting. Mm. A very quick look in the circular hub, bargain corner. See if there's anything interesting. I'm after some fence panels for the garden to match the ones I've already got, but I think I'll be lucky to find those. Luke's found a footstool. Oh wow, down to 70 pounds. Mm, it's got some damage on inside. You could replace that piece of wood though. Yeah. Or patch it up quite easily. It's not bad, is it? It's a good reduction. Cord, cord material. Yeah. They have a free limited edition book you can pick up here called us and our planet luke's having a rummage in the cushion covers what are they down to two pounds that's good instead of four three pounds instead of four that's good they're not marked or anything. any signs of damage or not that i can see yeah they've got the version of the one that i'm gonna buy but it's got a mark on it oh okay oh yeah so i don't think that would be worth no it. yeah i have to inspect them but that's nice Some of them that. might just be missing a tag or something, mightn't yeah. they? Or yeah, they return because they're no longer wanted. Yeah. Maybe if people return, they just come straight to here. Yeah. Right, we are done. So I hope you enjoyed this little look around IKEA with us. Let me know what you spotted, if anything, in there is something you'll be going to IKEA soon to pick up for yourself. I got a few bits, but I'll show you those in a separate video. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look around. Luke's been vlogging today as well, so oh. Luke will have a vlog over on your channel yes you? and i'm gonna be putting this up well i may Your be a bit ambitious yeah oh, in the vlog yeah maybe oh, good luck see how I feel there's seagulls back. outside yeah, that's that exciting mm. um but yeah we're off to home sense now i'll probably do that in a separate video a little look around see what's new in home sense and a bite to eat but yeah thank you so much for watching this one if you're new here don't forget to click subscribe for brand new videos every single week thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye